Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill for algebra, uh, for, for uh, SAT, GRE or GMAT, it doesn't matter what you're preparing for. These math problems will help you sharpen uh, the, the concepts that you need to know in order to do well on any of these exams. Today is our day number 29. Let's see what we have for today. Twenty-nine. Very simple, very straightforward problem we have today. And as I've explained to you in the past, the problem may be simple and straightforward. The solution necessarily is not. A distance of 0 to 1 is divided up into seven equal parts on a number line. On the number line below. Question simply is what is the approximate value of A. Here is your number line from 0 to 1 and we are told that it is divided up into 7 equal parts. So let's do that. 7 equal parts. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 equal parts. So here are the 7 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 equal parts from 0 to 1. And we are told that this quantity here, we are told that this quantity here equals Square root of a. Square root of a. And here are your answer choices. A, B, C, D, and E. One half, three fifths, two thirds, three quarter, and four fifths. What do you suppose this A might be approximately? Again, at this point, as always, is the time for you to pause the video. Again, one more time I'm going to explain to you. We have a number line from 0 to 1, which is being divided into 7 equal parts. This part was not shown. This part is not given. This I shouldn't have done that. This part is not shown. You just have to count that it is in fact 7 equal parts. And this right here, this point right here we are told equals square root of A. The question simply is, how much is A approximately? They are not looking for exact value. The word that is being used here is approximate. I want you to pause the video now, solve the problem yourself. Uh, you might see it right away, in which case you will be done like that or do whatever you have to do and once you have the answer as to what the value of A is approximately once you have chosen the answer choice here out of the five again I'm going to read the answer choice very quickly one half, three fifth, two third, three quarter and four fifth they're going obviously in increasing order from uh, 50 to 60 to 
67 to 75 and 80. If you want to look at it in decimal value that is. And that's all. Pause the video please. Solve the problem and then resume it when you, when you have the answer. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to do exactly that, to pause and resume it. Well, okay, let's get going. So we know that there are seven parts from here to here. How do we know that? Because they tell us that. And therefore, therefore we know that these seven parts Here is our solution. Therefore, we know that these seven parts have to equal one, because that's what it goes. It goes all the way up to one. The seven parts: one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven equal parts. They have to add up to one. Therefore, each part must be one seventh. Nothing earth-shattering. Nothing mind-boggling here. Nothing weird. Nothing kinky. Very straightforward concept. If uh, 0 through 1 is being divided into 7 parts, then each part is tends to reason must equal a 7th. So far so good. This point, let's see where it is located. It's located at, now this part, uh, we, are, we are doing it ourselves here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. It is located as the 5th mark. And since each mark represents a 7th, then this mark must represent 5 seventh. This is a 4 seventh. This is a 3 seventh. This is a 2 seventh. This is the one seven, and so on and so forth. And of course, then you have the six seven, and then you have the seventh seven. You see, each part is seventh. Here is your six seven, and then your seventh seven being the one. So this this right here, let me put it in a different different color, so that you can see it. This point right here equals five seven. So let's make a note of it here. That, that tell, therefore, that tells us that square root of a must equal 5, 7. How do I find the a? The question is, what's the value of a? Square root of a equals 5, 7. How do you find a? Well, you square both sides. That's how we find it. You square both sides. And therefore, a must equal 5 squared, which is 25, 7 squared, which is 49, and out of the choices that we have, this quantity approximately equals one half. 25 over, 25 over 50. Let's say there is the answer. That's it, we are done. That was the end of it. That was the end of the show. I hope uh, you found something useful out of it. Like I always said, you are not going to get much out of it if you keep watching the video continuously. You must pause it after I finish setting it up. You must solve it yourself. Even if it gives you some trouble, even if you struggle a little bit, even if you end up getting the wrong answer at the very end, it doesn't matter. You will learn a hell of a lot more, even if you get the wrong answer, by doing it yourself first, than watching me solve the problem for the very first time. Uh, you're not going to get much out of it. You should, you should do it yourself. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I tutor for SAT, GRE and GMAT. You can go to any of these website addresses, prep for GRE.com, prep for GMAT.com, prep for SAT.com. And of course, I also do TOEFL. Or you can simply go to keshwaniprep.com and send me an email from there as to what you need help in. And I'll be more than happy to do whatever it is that I can to help you out. I tutor over the internet via Skype and I also do face-to-face -face personal tutoring if you, happen to, if you happen to be in my neck of the woods. Alright, thank you.